Um, today we're going to talk about really quick why I love the Gospel of Mark. Is because one, it is a really quick gospel where things go back fast paced, stories are taught really quick, and really just down to earth to get to the point. The gospel starts off with saying, This is the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The author of Mark literally just goes, Bam, here it is, right here. This is what I want you to know about this is that this is good news of Jesus Christ, Jesus the King, the Son of God, already showing his relation to the Father. But then beyond that, what I love is that in chapter 2, not long after we start this whole process and we go through this quick little uh, introduction and everything, is that uh, the writer gets Jesus right contrasting with the religious elite already, showing the contrast between the earthly kingdom and God's kingdom. And what I want to pause here and do is ask you one question. Who are you in this narrative? So the one question I want you to answer and think about as I read this really quick is, who are you in the narrative? As he passed, he saw Levi, the son of Aphelius, sitting in the tax booth, and he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. And it happened there, as he was reclining at the table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners were dining with Jesus and his disciples, and for many of them, they were following him. When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with tax collectors and sinners, they said to his disciples, Why is he eating with them? Why is he sitting with sinners and tax collectors? And Jesus is hearing this, and Jesus said to them, It is not those who are healthy who need a physician or a doctor, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. So before you can dive deep into it, and let's get exegetical and all sorts of crazy theological terms, who are you in the narrative? Because there's, th there's, there's really four characters or four types of people, um, but I don't think any of us are Jesus, so we're going to exclude him from that. Um, but there's three categories then. Three categories. I'm, I realize my hands are down here. So three categories. One is the uh, sinners, the people who Jesus is eating with. Two are the disciples. And three is the religious elite, the scribes and the Pharisees. Which one are you? So for me, I would love to say that I'm a disciple, but I absolutely know that I am a sinner uh, and one of the worst ones there are, if you know what I mean here. But the also thing is where I think I put myself the most is in the religious elite, where I scoff at people at things they post. I judge people pretty quickly on their faith. I think there's a few things where I find flaws and I try to hold on to uh, traditions a lot more than necessary. There's a whole bunch of other pieces there that I could go on and on how I think that I'm in the religious elite. But who are you in the narrative? Because here's a couple things I think that we need to know is that when we think that if we're the sinners, then what do we need? We need Jesus. We need to surrender our lives. If we're the disciples, what do we need to do? We need to learn hard after Jesus and not just after uh, answers to questions, but after uh, take our lives and reorient them towards Jesus's intentions and beliefs and actions and love. And third, if we are the religious elite, we need to ask for forgiveness about where we have been so that we can get back into reorienting our lives to Jesus. So my question is, who are you in the narrative? I know where I am, and I don't like it, but at least we know where to go from here. So who are you in the narrative?